what it is and how do people use your man jack of clubs um i have been getting some emails and some messages on facebook from people wanting to know what i've been using um they've been liking my mixes and they've been liking my stuff so far on my podcast jack and tracks every monday night at 8 p.m only on serenity fm sorry i had to get that plug in but anyway um i've been getting some um people quit asking me what gear i'm using um and I just want to just, so I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to show you as far as on the laptop what I've been using. And also so some, just, some suggestions, one being a very important one. So um, last year I made a video about my gear and I was using a, a Toshiba 17-inch laptop with a dual, um, dual AMD dual cord. 4 gigabyte laptop, pretty good laptop though. Uh, it was really good. Um, and I am, was using it with a... Uh, Newmark Stealth with a um, Native Instruments Audio 2 DJ uh, sound card. And that was actually working out pretty good for a while, but I had to step up the game. Um, when you get those creative juices flowing and you want to get you them those mixes hot and on fire, you got to get the gear to match the heat. So that's what I did with that. So what I am using right now is I'm using an Asus uh, laptop with um, the Intel Core i7. Um, I think it's an N5, I'm using an Asus N5 3JQ um, with the i7 uh, CPU. Of course, you know i7 is really fast, 1.73 gigahertz. I think it goes up to 3 gigahertz um, when it's on turbo mode. I also uh, updated the memory from f uh, 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes for obvious reasons. Um, so that in itself is off the chain, right? Um, but what happened was was that uh, it came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, um, and the gigab and it was doing all right. Um, and for, I mean, most instances that would actually be pretty good. But I am using Tractor, and when you're using Tractor, um, you want to make sure that it goes really quick, so that you can you know get all your mixes up and running. Problem is, was that when I was using uh, Tractor, uh, I'm using Tractor Pro 2, by the way, really good. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, when I was using Tractor, um, everything was running all good. But one time I had a gig and everything was running all well. You know, I had my songs up. What I usually do is I have a playlist, a set playlist ready, as most people do. Um, you know, you have them all loaded up. You know, I don't really have anything loaded up right now. My, my gear is not connected to it. It's just a laptop by itself. So you're not going to see anything moving or anything like that here. But I have my songs loaded up as so. Um, but I wanted to deviate from the playlist and open a folder with all my music in it. Problem is, is that the music, well, the music was about two, in a folder that had about 2,000 songs in there. And that was a problem because... When you open up a folder you have it opened up already in Tractor in the session, it's going to go through all the files and, and analyze them. Well, in a regular hard drive, that's a problem. I was up there and when I clicked on the folder, Tractor had to analyze every single song. And that was 2,000 songs in that folder. It took about a minute and a half to load. Well, that sucks, especially when you're on stage because every second counts. A minute and a half might as well be an hour and a half. So what I did was I upgraded my computer with this, what you see here. This is a solid state hard drive. Um, I upgraded uh, my 500 uh, gigabyte 7200 RPM with this bad boy right now. This is the, cru the crucial 64 gigabyte M4. I have, been I have been suggesting this to everybody who uses Tractor, Serato, Ableton, even that stupid ass program, Virtual DJ, I fucking can't stand that program. Anyway, um, I have been using this for a couple months now. I'm going to tell you, it made a huge difference, and I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, the what makes all the difference is this right here, which is the read speed. The read speed is crucial. The read speed is what makes the magic happen. I believe um, this goes about 10, 15, maybe even 20 times faster than a normal hard drive. So I replaced my laptop hard drive with this. And you can use this on a Mac. You can get this on a PC. I really recommend it for anybody using any DJ software. And I'm going to show you why right now. So back at the show, I was telling you, uh, the, 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 the tractor hung up because it had to analyze all the, of the, fold, the songs in the folder. Um, what I want to do real quick 
is just to show you the difference between using a solid state hard drive with tractor and using a you know um, regular hard drive with a tractor and I'm telling you people the difference is night and day so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the Explorer here and I'm going to show you this drive right here is the solid state drive all right this drive C is a solid state drive. This drive E is the regular 7200 RPM hard drive. I have them both in the same computer. Um, I used the I, I replaced uh, I used the 7200 RPM drive just to hold data, um, songs, what have you, that I'm not going to be using at the show or maybe using at the show or at a gig or something like that. But you know, just use it for just just general storage. So the C drive is where all the magic happens. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and I want to go to this music uh, folder, uh, let's say here, filtered in disco, okay? Let's see how long it takes to open up 600 songs using a regular hard drive and tractor. Let's go. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're not even halfway yet. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. So about thirty seconds. Okay. Now that's six hundred songs. What if that was two thousand songs? What if that was one thousand songs? That'll take about a minute, minute and a half. Well, of course that's unacceptable. On the stage when you're up there performing, every minute counts. Every second counts. So you can't have that. Now, let's open up the same folder. Let's go here. Let's open up the same folder using the solid state drive and tractor. And let's see how long it takes. So once again, make sure you keep your eyes down here. I'm going to go ahead and open up now. Let's just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seconds. Eight seconds. Now, it took eight seconds to load up 600 songs. As a matter of fact, it usually goes faster than that. So I think something was running in the back. I think uh, what's going on is I'm running this uh, program in the background, um, and it just took a couple seconds. But usually it takes like five seconds. But even so, eight seconds next to 30 seconds, that's a huge difference, especially when you're on that stage. So once again, people, like I said, if you're using any um, music, uh, like DJing software, Tractor, Ableton, Serato, Virtual DJ, um, that M Audio program, I guess that that, that comes with the, their stuff, anything like that. I would, if you want to, if you want to be a true professional, if you want things to run right and run smoothly, <clears throat> the first time and all the time, grab yourself a solid state hard drive. And the most important part, like I said, is the read speed. Read speed is the most important part. I would say anywhere from 300 to 500 megabytes per second or higher is what's recommended. Uh, be careful. There's a lot of uh, bull crap out in the market now. That solid state hard drives are becoming the mess, the newest thing. Um, they're getting cheaper, but also like you got ones that are like 100 megabytes per second, like 90 megabytes per second read speed. It's useless. So make sure you do that. Um, I know that this is not the only one that's really good. I know that there's one uh, Pyro, uh, 120 gigabyte. It runs about the same read speed, but the write speed is faster too. This write speed is about 100 megabytes, but write speed is not really the most important thing. What's really most important is the read speed. This is 64 gigabytes. It's a 128 gigabyte model of the Crucial M4 as well. Um, the Pyro, I think, is 120 gigabytes. Um, read speed and write speed, 500 megabytes. But anyway, once again, it's your man, Jack of Clubs, giving you a tip on what you might want to do to up your game. I'm going to have uh, some movies about the gear I'm using as far as the S4, speakers, flight case, things like that. Um, thanks for tuning in, and catch me on Jack of Tracks every Monday at 8 p.m. only on Serenity FM. Peace, love, and sizzle.